Kazan's population is an equal mix of ethnic Russians and Tatars. The Tatar culture has a significant influence on the city. It's something particularly true of its food. The name Kazan itself comes from the Tatar word for cauldron. And February 28th is even celebrated annually as the day of Tatar cuisine. Tatar national dishes are important for every family. They're passed down from generation to generation. I was taught to cook by my grandmother and great-grandmother. For us, cooking is part of our culture. It's a way to continue our traditions, our family's traditions, and also helps us to welcome our guests. Tatar cuisine is based around the region's main agricultural products of cereals and livestock, but also includes produce from across Eastern Europe and Central Asia. As the popularity of Tatar food has increased, many of its offerings are now found on plates throughout Russia and beyond. One of our most common first course dishes is soup. This is a rich lamb soup which is very filling. It has a lot of meat and is served with potatoes and noodles. We also have cured meats as another first course. We've made a traditional Khan's feast which includes smoked goose, horse meat sausage and horse salo. These are some of our traditional cold snacks. Now we have some of the hot food, such as this belish. These are also traditional national dishes that you'll find in every home, and every host will serve them to their guests. They're a big favourite with our customers. The cooking methods have gradually changed over the centuries, but many recipes remain largely unchanged, a fact cherished by modern Tatars, who see their cuisine as an important link to their ancestors. Love is a very important part of it too. We put our heart and soul into our cooking and pass that on to the diners. We think of all the traditions from our parents and we use that as inspiration to put plenty of love into our cooking.